All right, family, get a news report of Mary and Dash winning Mary and Lee. Today is Sunday, sexy Sunday or sinful Sunday. Either way, you understand what I'm saying? February the 28th, 2021 in my city, Chicago. So they say now, I come up with all these different sayings for uh, the days of the week, like Thursday, Thursday. Well, you know, I was listening to the radio and stuff, and they had the nerve to say Thursday, Thursday. See, Pay attention to the similarities, and then you'll know that I'm an originator of rap and why I'm an originator of rap. Now, I flipped the Bible today, you know, after coming back after rain, getting some goddamn high-ass food and shit. I flipped to the page 932, and I didn't even know what it was going to say or whatever and stuff. But it's Micah chapter 5 and 6. You understand what I'm saying? On 932, it's, it's the end of chapter 5. But, you know, my birthday is the month of May, and I was born in 67, but it's only um, seven chapters in Micah. But, like I said, I gave my story, and everybody else, uh, Donna Marie Evans and Sharice of Chicago, or whatever, and everybody, you know, my um, voice to music, three cassette tapes, front and back, or whatever, and stuff, in 1995. So, it's on page 932, 93, 94, 95. But if you flip it, like Immortal Technique said, you know, the devil always knows in advance to his song, you know, uh, Dance with the Devil. And this on page 931. It starts, uh, Micah chapter 5 is on 931, which would be 93 plus 1 is what? 94 and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? See, white people think they slick and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And guess what it says? This going out to Marsha Bruce Mattis III because I didn't think his name was in the Bible. I didn't think it was, but... I just made a video talking about his name in the Bible, but he is Esau because Esau everything, right? But here go Marshall right here at the fucking top of 931 in this Bible and stuff. And I usually do a certain, you know, um, uh, a link audio or whatever and stuff, but they try to, uh, you know, mix words or whatever. So I'm going to try to do it without mixing words and stuff because we got to get this right especially in this bible that i got from uptown with my birthday 525 on the top of the building at the people's church and stuff that they would not let me go get my little mcdonald's card on wednesday never bite the hand that feed you marshal 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 i'd have caught your ass nigga for real um it's time to dumb down y'all talking too goddamn much i thought that thought i'd tell y'all and shit just listen and shit for real for real and see how far these crackers get without us and stuff for real for real so people of color Black History Month, and it's on a good day. I told y'all gonna get you, Eminem. Marshall Bruce Matters, first, second, and third, you dumb motherfucker. It said a promise ruler from Bethlehem. Chapter 5, Micah. Marshall. That's what it say, Marshall, right there. Just in case y'all fucking can't see it for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? You see? All he's doing is missing one L, nigga. You understand? And he's a left-hand person. Marshall, your troops now. It says, Marshall, your troops now, city of troops for a siege is laid against us. They will strike Israel ruler on the cheek with their rod. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, Ephra uh, though you are small among the clans, two club clans, nigga, of Judah, out of you will come for me. One who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old. From ancient times. Now, I got to narrate this shit because, you know, a lot of motherfuckers think I'm slow. I might only get through chapter five because, you know, y'all, this the main fucking chapter and shit. Ku Klux Klan, man, they have taken over my city, Chicago. Real fucking talk. And they want Marshall Bruce Matters to have my, um, my rap legacy. The police whooped my ass when I was on 87th Street and the Dan Ryan selling my stuff back in the day. The spirit made me run across the train track, the expressway up a hill in a Vidoc, vacant lot or whatever and stuff. And next to the vacant lot where I got my ass whooped by the police, kicking me in my stomach and stuff before I got railroaded May 31st, 2007, right next to the vacant lot was a, 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 a building called Infinite. And that's Marshall Bruce Matters the third. Um, first fucking goddamn cd he came out with infinite you understand what i'm saying that's the name of it but at the time of me getting my ass whooped i did not know and my so-called best friend um Dwayne lewis helped the police navigate for me to get my ass whooped because he was jealous of me and in on it and stuff like that and at the time i just didn't know and stuff but now i know so we i got five on you bitches and shit real fucking talk i promise you i ain't lying you understand what i'm saying now 
this say so they want they trying to bring all that ancient old stuff back and stuff real fucking talk the origins are from of old from ancient times therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she see see when it's something bad is she when she who is in labor bears a son see they want me to get pregnant and stuff you know what I'm saying and there's a picture that I seen on western and stuff and it looked like uh, Marshall Bruce Matters the third holding a son that's dark skinned and stuff. Nigga, you beat me. I promise you, I'll kill you. You understand what I'm saying? For real. Real fucking talking. Y'all done seen that picture and stuff. Real talking. Right across the street was like a meat factory or some shit and they had Daly's, the Mayor Daly's picture or whatever and stuff or whatever or information and stuff. I already did this. I can't make this up. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking so. So I believe they stole my eggs back in the day when they made me homeless and they took me to the uh, emergency room and stuff. Now, you got to remember, I never went to prison and shit or jail when the police kicked my ass on 87. Every time they do something to me, I never go to jail. When they kidnapped me, took my eggs, I believe that's what happened. And I believe they, they trying to get rid of me because they know I know what time it is. So this is this is the honest guy's truth, and I'll put the picture with this motherfucking video, you stupid-ass motherfuckers. Now, so let me read it again. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned. They're trying to abandon me until the time when she who is in labor bears her son. They thought I'd come back here, fuck with these knuckleheads, and get pregnant and shit, and then they can blame whatever the fuck happened and shit on me and shit for what they did to me the day after Mother's Day, May 9th of 2016 and shit. You see how they're trying to cover their tracks, but bitch... My higher power is on point, on time, and your ass is running out of it. You understand what I'm saying? It says, and the rest of his brothers returned to join the Israelites. He would stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they will live securely, for then his greatness will reach the end, the ends of the earth. And he will be our peace when the Assyrians invade our land. Ain't this a bitch? It says, and march through our fortress. We will raise against them seven shepherds, even eight commanders, who will rule the land of Assyria with the sword, the land of Nimrod with drawn sword. He will deliver us from the Assyrians. When they invade our land, so it's been invaded and marched across our borders. The remnant of Jacob, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, was my ex-girlfriend, Jehovah Witness, worked for Blue Cross Blue Shield and was an informant. And that's why she never moved in with me. My first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac vs. Fat Black, Oprah Winfrey. Uh, and I posted November of 2007 and she knew Oprah Winfrey. If she really loved me, my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, she would have moved in, in that apartment because that motherfucker was nice and shit. The remnant of Jacob will be in the midst of many peoples. And that's why I told her to go back, you know, to that white man. Because I figured, you know, she was an informant for, for the white people. It says, like dew from the Lord, like showers on the grass. Don't shit on me and say it's raining. Which do not wait for anyone or depend on men. The girls did it. And they, the guys is taking over and robbing us and stuff. Y'all better step your game up. Hope you got a fucking gun. It says the remnant of Jacob will be among the nations in the midst of many peoples. It says like a lion among the breast of the forest. See, they wanted me to cut off my breast and shit. When I went to um, prison, Lincoln um, prison, um, they changed it. They said to guys, it might be girls now. I don't know. You know, they go back and forth or whatever and stuff. I got a cut on my left breast where, you know, I thought, you know, I had a lump and stuff for real, but I, they want my titties and shit. They ain't getting my titties because that's the only thing that proved that I'm a real fucking girl. My shit is real, not plastic. Okay. Cardi B, like a lion among the breast of the forest, like a young lion among flocks of sheep, which moths and mangles as it goes and not and no one can rescue see they said some of us in aa have to be badly mangled for others you know to figure this out <laughs> not me this time it says your hand will be lifted up in triumph over your enemies and all your foes will be what destroyed yeah it says in that day declares the lord i will destroy your horses 
from among you and demolish your chariots. All them cars that I bought, mm -hmm, get ready to get up out them motherfuckers. I will destroy the cities of your land and tear down all your strongholds. I will destroy your witchcraft and you will no longer cast spells. I will destroy your idols and your sacred stones from among you. You will no longer bow down to the work of your hands. I will uproot from among you your Asheria poles. When I demolish your cities, I will take vengeance and anger and wrath on the nations that have not obeyed me. Now, if I'm not God today, I don't know who is because timing is everything. Y'all can read 6 and 7 or the whole book of Micah, M-I-C-A-H, for yourself. 1 through 7, the chapters or whatever and stuff. But that one, Marshall, I caught your ass. And you know that picture? I told you, don't 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 treat me like no used car salesman. All them, look, I want a T-top, drop-top Cadillac truck, nigga. For real. So that's something I came up with. I came up with the drop-top Cadillac truck, but they stole that. It's on the internet. Y'all know if you're a Mary McNamara, I already debunked that and shit. So I came up with a T-top, drop-top Cadillac truck and stuff. For real. You know, Oprah Winfrey was worth $500 million in 1995. I said all I wanted was $2 million tax-free and the rest could go to charity. But they, all they wanted to do was kill me because they knew I didn't know the game that they was playing on me and stuff. For real. You understand what I'm saying? Now I want $500 million. You know, let's just make it a billion, Oprah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just make it a billion. You understand what I'm saying? You can make it a billion, you know, without the taxes or $500 million. No, my, my fault. You can make it a billion with the taxes or $500 million without the taxes. Either way, it's on you niggas and shit to figure it out. And, and that's just for Oprah. The rest of you motherfuckers, oh, you got to pay too. I am priceless motherfucker. I would have hurried up and gave that goddamn two million tax free. This game would have never been. It would have been over. But you you took a calculated risk on a white boy. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all love crackers and shit. You was like, oh, she, oh, listen, no, 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 no. What else I want to say is shit. But that's the money. Don't forget the bread, nigga, for real. See, I can eat the bread off the shelf, but I can't eat money. I do this just to prove to y'all motherfuckers that my higher power is real and yours is not. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. I never lose and shit. For those who gave up on me, never bite their hand to feed you. For real. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. What's another? What's the What's the other? Um. What is it? John. John 6. Seven and eight also. You understand what I'm saying? Read that. You understand what I'm saying? So for the ones who who, who love misery and shit, you understand what I'm saying? Y'all seen the movie Misery? It was about a writer. I broke both of my ankles. You understand what I'm saying? See, the devil always knew ahead of time and, and they would backtrack time too to make it seem as though, you know what I'm saying? I'm lying and shit for real. You understand what I'm saying? Because when they own the information, like John Meyer say, waiting on the world to change, they would uh, bend it all they want. You understand what I'm saying? So they can, you know, they can bend their motherfucking finger to look like this and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I told you, Eminem. I told you. You should have just, you know, left well enough alone. But now you want to try to upstage me in my own city, Chicago. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I changed the, the spelling. From C H I C A G O to S H E C A R G O. All y'all want to do is drive. Bitch, I'm trying to fly 10 feet off the ground, though. That's it. You understand what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Yeah. Now let's talk about it. And I am the proof. I don't believe proof died for real, but you never know. But I am proof. You understand what I'm saying? Just in case. The spirit of proof is saying, kiss my ass, motherfucker. Huh? What? 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 What you gonna do? Whoop my ass, nigga? You gonna kill me? How far you gonna get? Huh? Family, step your game up. You know I never lose. But that is your ghetto news poor man dash between the Mary Lee. But we do need to be quiet. Action speaks louder than words. And real bad boys and girls move in silence. But real niggas speak about it. Peace.